Durham city centre, standing on a tiny peninsula in a bend in the River Weir, is home to two of Britain's most important buildings. The city's cathedral and castle are among the finest examples of Norman architecture in the country and have both been in use for nearly a thousand years. Now this UNESCO World Heritage Site has been relit with an LED lighting scheme using fittings from Philips and Urbis designed to bring out the detail of the architecture and slash energy consumption. My name is Saif al-Rashidi and I'm the coordinator of the World Heritage Site here in Durham which involves working with the cathedral and the university to preserve the site, um, interpret it um, and present it to its best advantage. And I think that this lighting scheme is probably one of the biggest projects that we've worked on in that respect. Because the cathedral and castle are icons not only of the city but I would say of the northeast as a whole. The old scheme was quite old and some of the fittings were starting, especially on the castle, some of them were off and um, it was felt that the contrast between the cathedral and the castle wasn't ideal. One was very orange and the, un the, the cathedral had this eerie greenish glow um, and it was also not very energy efficient and, and so it came out of both aesthetic and environmental concerns. One of the things about the scheme which is greatly advantageous is the fact that it reduces energy quite considerably. The old lighting scheme was about 30 years old um, and it was felt to be obsolete um, both in engineering terms but also aesthetically. I mean, it wasn't particularly attractive. We felt that something more subtle would be more effective and more flattering to both buildings. My name is Anthony Smith, I'm a director at State Line Design Services. I was lead designer on the Durham World Health Site project. Um, basically, we were given a target of 33% energy savings over the entire site. Um, we've achieved virtually 78% uh, with a mix of uh, reducing the overall consumption and also some switching and also uh, some balancing of the fittings to try and, um, and reduce energy where we can so we're not over lighting areas that didn't need it. Basically, the, we've got three colour temperatures on the whole scheme. Um, the castle using a fairly warm colour temperature, going to something a bit cooler, uh, and then the cathedral going from warmer to cooler still, uh, with the, the, that middle colour temperature being on both buildings, tying the two together. There was a bat survey undertaken on both buildings at the beginning, during the construction and at the end, to ensure we had no, no impact. There are two areas um, of the cathedral where we did the lighting, and one area of the castle where the lighting was removed altogether. Um, one of the key areas on the cathedral is the rose window, uh, which the, the lighting that specifically picks that out is delayed by two hours. One of the challenges with buildings like this is that um, it's not so easy for engineers to just set up whenever they want, that you have to work around all sorts of things going on, archaeological concerns, um, and that was something which I think was done with great subtlety and sensitivity. Uh, one of the difficulties we had involved is uh, effectively digging in a medieval graveyard. Um, one of the issues when we were installing the fittings here uh, was to do with the, the embankment that's just beside your feet there. Um, we were warned that they have found remains in there before and when we were exposing some of the ground to put the fittings in we actually found a skeleton that had to be properly dealt with by the cathedral's archaeologist. We kind of uh, had half an idea we might find something and the way the project was, was phased all of the digging work had to happen in the first few weeks so even if we did find something that would hold us up, we knew it wouldn't be, it would affect the final end date. So effectively, they just moved on to another area while it was dealt with. The skeleton was re-consecrated within the cathedral itself. The county council and Durham City Vision, which was uh, an independent, semi-independent branch of the county council, um, um, had come up with a lighting strategy. Um, and we actually launched the competition in collaboration with the Institution of Lighting Engineers um, who publicized it for us and were also helpful in putting a brief together and in judging the entries. I think the advantage of a competition is that um, you get different ideas and different people and you give everyone a chance. Well, we've had very good feedback on the scheme, which is really reassuring, because the thing is, in a place like this, where there's such a long tradition and so many people have their eyes on the cathedral and castle all the time, um, you sometimes worry that any change will be um, seen as a negative thing. And in fact, uh, the response has been overwhelmingly positive. 
Um, one of the things about the new scheme is that it shows the architecture much more. So you can see the details of the cathedral, the buttresses, um, the stone carving, and I would say for the castle as well, especially from the riverside.